we walk through a reception area and we enter what it's just like a massive hangar. You could fit a plane in here, couldn't yeah, you, you almost? You could easily put a plane in here. It's like a big warehouse. We've got uh, nearly 100 metres of state-of-the-art gym equipment, a seating area for spectators and a 200-metre matted area for the martial arts. You've got some of the lads over there training with one of your team leaders. How did the programme work? It's always going to be free for the kids. Subject to funding, we'll be able to keep continuing going. They come twice a week on a Tuesday and Thursday between 2 and 4 p.m. They get uh, hours weights cardio with a bit of education chucked in. Then they go on to do an hour's martial arts training, which is progressive. We're not teaching them to be fighters. We're just teaching them the basics and giving them the discipline that comes with that. Some of them are on the cusp of going to jail or they've been in trouble with the police, been brought to attention of the authorities. That's why they've been referred to us. We're trying to stop them going to jail, give them a bit of focus, make them part of something. Now, um, you know all too well about this, don't you? Um, tell us a little bit about your background. I'm 40 years old. I've been to jail four times. Each and every time I've got out of jail, it's such a struggle to get a job. I've got a six-year sentence for uh, drug dealing. I spent a lot of time away from my wife and my kids. I had this idea while I was in jail for doing gym courses. What happens after the 12 weeks to them? We'll support them every way we can. I've lined up um, some funding for them for their ideas. So some of them might want to be a hairdresser or they might want to be, they might want to run a market stall. I'm not going to just kick them out the door and say, right, you've done the course, see you later. Combinations. Two punches. Hello, I'm Chris. Chris, how old are you? 19. How did you get involved in the programme? I went through the source, which I was doing an agro-management programme with. The guys came down to us and just spoke about the course. I don't feel as aggressive as I used to be. I'm a lot calmer. Your anger, was that getting you into trouble before? Where I was living, it was getting me into trouble, yeah. I was getting warnings, I was getting, like, basically told to leave where I was living quite frequently because of my anger issues. How much? I was just getting into fights all the time, going out and drinking all loads, causing trouble, really. I'm Alistair, I'm 21. As long as you're disciplined, you get more out of it. If they just let us run around doing run riot, then I'm not really going to get anywhere. Either I'm hoping to finally get into the army or carry on doing some sort of course or something like this again. I'm Mikey, and I'm 23. I was in and out of trouble, borderline prison. I'm on suspended sentences and everything. Keep offending, keep doing drugs, keep doing drink. At the end of the 12 weeks, I'm hoping, if I'm not fighting and competing, hopefully I'll try and get a job in the gym or something. I don't want to go to prison, because if I go to prison, these guys will wash their hands, that's me done, and I don't want it. We'll have uh, more on this story later on this morning. Claire Cowan reporting from Aldershot at uh, the Maidage.